The needle bearing is attached to the crank cam plate and the slider fits over it. It is driven by the crank cam and pushes the slider back and forth. Over time, the needle bearing can fail, often seizing. Replacing the needle bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the shoe from the saw. Now I'll remove the cap and the shift button. And inside the front of the saw, I'll remove the leaf spring. Now I can remove the boot. The removal can be a little bit challenging because it fits very tightly around the saw. I found the best way to do it is to roll it over itself as I work to the top of the saw. Now I need to pull the boot back through itself so we can reinstall it later. Now I can remove the gearbox cover. Now I have access to the needle bearing. I'll go ahead and remove the old bearing and install the new one. Now I can reinstall the gear cover. As I do, I need to make sure I align the slider with the needle bearing. The needle bearing should fit in between the grooves on the slider. And I'll secure the cover with the screws. Now I can reinstall the boot. I'm going to apply a little bit of silicone spray to a rag and then rub it onto the saw housing. That'll make it easier to install the boot. Now I'll slide the boot over the housing and work it into place. The first step in reinstalling the shaft button assembly is to reinstall the leaf spring. The spring fits into the housing with the tabs facing towards the top of the saw. I have the saw upside down right now. The tabs fit in between a couple of metal grooves inside the housing that you won't be able to see as I install it. I'll place the leaf spring into the opening, aligning those tabs, and now that it's in place, I can install the shaft button. I'll be careful not, not to knock the leaf spring out of the way as I install the shaft button. With the shaft button in place, now I can install the cap. I'll place a socket beneath the shaft button and that'll hold it in place as I install the cap. I'll place the cap over the shaft and tap it into place with a rubber mallet. And reinstall the shoe. And that's all it takes to replace the needle bearing in your recip saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.